as I was nearing the end of my high school days in the mid to late 80s, it was a little rough in the farming economy, so I uh, was looking for alternatives and decided that was a good place to at least do some, uh, do some experimenting. Well, it started with four years of ROTC at the U of I before my actual 10 years, but then once I, was, I graduated and was commissioned, then uh, I was selected for Navy Flight School. That took roughly three years. I was winged in the fall of 94, and then served for seven years uh, as a pilot after that. I was um, getting out, or planning on getting out shortly thereafter, just a few, a few weeks later. Um, was flying on to the carrier that day uh, for some training exercises. Um, ended up sitting alert in New York Harbor or near New York for the next few days after 9-11. But it was, it was a challenging time because as I was getting out, of course, nobody knew what was going to happen, but the expectation was we were going to be going to war in Afghanistan. So there was a lot of hand-wringing and pressure to stay. and. Um, my, my wife and I, my wife Dana, kind of decided that if we would go to war then, I would stay. But if, if it was going to be a, a while before my carrier made it over there, then I was going to go ahead and get out. And so that's and it, what, what happened. I, I don't know if there was a, a direct influence, but I, I always loved farming. I always wanted to come back. It was, it was uh, just a a chance to go do something else for a while and learn different skill sets before I did in fact come back. When I was growing up on the farm, I had no appreciation for what it took to not only run a farm, but to run a business in general. I mean, driving the tractor or running the grain cart or even running the combine is way different than running a business. But one thing that I did learn through my ROTC and military training is that I, I finally got to the point where when I started to feel intimidated or like I'm nervous about this next step or what might happen, I, I always just looked at that next guy and said, well, if he can do it, I can do it. And that has served me well in life. Like when I get back here, I, I have no idea how to sell my grain or grow a corn crop or whatever, but guess what? People have figured it out, I can figure it out too. I don't know that it's that, that I'm a farmer veteran. It, it's probably that um, those two roles are related, but not a causal relationship. These are two like basic professions, right? We got to eat, and pretty soon after that, we we need to defend ourselves against the bad guys. And so, I guess maybe in that respect, I'm just a basic person. I'm just you know in at the ground floor doing maybe maybe the important or more necessary professions. But I think it's just the mindset of service. So I guess it's the same person that's willing to serve in the military, the same person that's willing to serve in their community.